Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we want to talk a little bit more about Tunnel 13 and what can we expect, what got leaked already by Supercell and a really important thing as well, what is the most important thing for you guys to go for in regarding or like or for magical items, like what is the best choice you can do, which means for example in the leak shop should you go for resource potions, should you go for build a potion, should you go for hammers, what is the best thing what you can do and at the end of the video I will talk about the Black Friday offers and whether you should buy them if you want to like spend any any money at all or if you just maybe you should, maybe you should just skip them because they're not too good. We will talk about everything today in the video and we will start off with what is the best magic item when Town of 13 is coming out. And for this we will do a little bit of math and we need to like, I don't know, like speculate on a couple of numbers because if Tunnel 13 will come, then obviously we should get a couple of new, uh, well, level of defenses, of buildings, of basically everything. That's how normally new tunnel level works. So let's talk about the, comp or let's compare the builder potion and the hammer of building because those two, when it comes down to buildings, are the most efficient one and those two things you should normally go for but what is better like which one is better of those two so let's say a uh, hammer of building is like is costing 120 medals um like me league medals um but what exactly do you get from this let's say one building or like one upgrade costs um is 16 days and costs 16 millions those numbers are based on the last couple of changes of Town Hall 11 to Town Hall 12 and then we speculate on how it's going up to Town Hall 13. So let's say once again 120 medals and this means well one hammer of building and you will get for this 16 days and 16 million resources. But let's take a look at the builder potion. To make the builder potion as expensive basically as the hammer of building you need to multiply the builder potions with four which means four builder potions are the same or have the same price as one hammer of buildings so this we always have to keep that uh, that in mind if you're doing um, the numbers in behind so let's think about once again we have overall five heroes uh, five. <laughs> we have overall five builders which means every single builder is for one for one builder potion is making up for nine hours which means we're doing the numbers of five multiplied with nine and then once again we need to multiply it with four because like i said four builder potions are the equal to one hammer of buildings and this means uh well we will finish at 180 hours and if you transfer this basically to days, we are at 7.5 days, which is not too much. If you compare 16 days with 7.5 days, there's a big difference. But let's talk about how big is the difference when you actually have six builders, because since the, one of the last couple of changes, there was a new builder named Otto and you could get into the home village as well. So let's talk about if you have six builders. If you have six builders, you need to multiply it once again with nine and with four. And if you do so, you will get 216, which is the equal of nine days. So there's a huge difference between 16 days for a hammer and nine days for builder potions with the same amount of price for it. So let's make the uh, make the or get the numbers right for someone who bought the gold pass because if you bought the gold pass you get a reduction of 20 percent this means the 16 days are no longer 16 days it's going to be 12 days and 19 hours the same is going to be with the price it's no longer 16 millions now it's um 12.8 million um gold or elixir whatever it doesn't really matter so let's do the math once again and basically the numbers on the other side won't change. It's still going to be 7.5 days for five builders and it's still going to be nine days for, well, six builders. So you guys see, it's still, even though we bought the gold pass, the hammers are still way more valuable than the builder potion. 
But now we let's think about we had in the last couple of months always one perk or one boost which was 30% and not only 20. The first time it was the research um, perk where we gained 30% of a boost for any research we, we try to um, get in builder base or in the home village. The last month or like this month right now, the November month, we can get 30% of any training troops or whatever is close to it. Which means in December it should mean that we will get the builder perk for 30%. Which means let's do the math once again. With 30% we have 11 days and 5 hours and 11.2 million. But once again if you compare it with the 7.5 days and the 9 days the hammer is still better. But so far we compared only like normal defenses. Because normal defenses are most of the time pretty expensive. And they're taking a lot of time. That's why I said 16 days. And those 16 days are based on the numbers if you compare those for something like cannon, uh, archer towers, expo, stuff like this. Like from town 11 to town 12 to town 13. So those are my speculation numbers on those. Once again I want to highlight all those numbers are based on speculations. Or like the um, time and the resource amount are based on speculations of mine. So let's talk about now um, how long does a building need to be to actually make the builder potion stronger than the hammer. And to do the math for this is 9 days multiplied with 1.3 for the gold pass or like if you're using the gold pass. And this means as soon as a, um, basically a, a, I don't know how you say that, a, a building now I got the got the word a building is lower or like is needed no not longer than 12 days then you guys are faster with the builder potion this is uh well not too easy let's put it like this because um most of the defenses are taking way longer but we have a couple of other buildings in the village as well for example the storages storages are normally way less time which means the last couple of level were three days, then six days. If we keep that going, this means for tunnel 13, it might be nine days, like three, uh, three days, six days, nine days. I think this would make a little bit of sense. And you guys see, for storages, for example, the builder potion would be the better option. So now you guys know the math in behind. We know, okay, builder potion is probably better for storages, but except that, Hammer of building will be better for most of the cases in our scenarios. So, yeah, get the uh, League Metal Shop stacked, build, uh, or like get all of your Hammer of Buildings so you can start really fresh as soon as the update hits. Then I want to talk about a couple of things, like I said, what got published so far. Like, Supercell put, a lo uh, put out a lot of teasers, so let's see if we can like get them together. So. One of the things was that we might get a new hero. I will put up the picture as well, so you guys can always see where this speculation is coming from. Because so far we don't have anything official yet, which means we only can speculate about that. So we might get a new hero. Once again, the screenshot is on, the, on your screen. We might get a new siege, um, which was highlighted in like one of those hawk pictures um, in the background of the sky. You can't really tell what, it ex what exactly that is, but... New Siege, I don't know, it makes sense, I guess. And another thing is that after the last couple of um, teasers, we know now the date of the update or like the speculation about a date. So, for example, in the game, there's an event right now, the Winter Jam, which still lasts for 9 days and 16 hours. It finishes up at the mo in, the, in the morning at Monday the ninth, which means it's basically after the Town Hall 12 Cup uh, finishes and at the first Monday after that. And it's the first Monday as well after the Clan War League, which means it kind of makes sense that the update might hit on Monday or Tuesday, something like that. So um, yeah, that's a pretty good idea of the, of the update date as well. But we have more, we still have more. Yesterday there was a screenshot um, or like a picture posted of Supercell on their social media platforms about Tunnel 13, how it looks like. I will put it on your screen. And I know that a lot of people are kind of disappointed in the color of the 
um, town hall. But let's keep in mind, I don't know if you would actually want to have a green town hall or like, a, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what exactly to expect. And that's why I think I might like it more than other people because they already saw so many speculations videos on, on the color, etc. So I don't know. I personally like the color. It's a bit of a darker blue and I like the town hall nine color as well with black. So I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a little bit just a darker version of Town Hall 12. Um, I think I would like that, um, but so far we only see the Town Hall and we don't even know whether it's actually the Town Hall 13 or it's just an like, upgraded version of Town Hall 12. So we don't know yet for sure. What you could see on the screenshot as well were new hero levels. We could see the level 50 Warden. This guy, if this actually is true, is going to be crazy. Like. Level 40 Warden Walk is already crazy strong. I don't want to call it OP, but it's really strong. And now with a level 50 Warden, this is going to be crazy. And we have a couple of more, uh, more normal hero levels as well, like level 70 uh, for both of those. Um, it's really hard to see. I didn't per like. I personally did not see the levels, but uh, my Discord told me, so it has to be true, I guess. And well, more things are that they. Uh, made the army camps, for example, smaller, which means it's not as drastic that they won't increase the size of the village. So that's that's another thing which Jaren's told us already in the forums. So that's basically everything about the like most of the stuff we know um, already about the new December update. And now we are getting to the last one, which are the Black Friday offers. And I would have loved to told you guys to say, well, Buy those things, they are super worth it. Get credit code Itsu in there. But they are not. Like, I don't know. Like, remembering back to the last year, those Black Friday offers were crazy good. Those Black Friday offers right now... I don't know. I don't know if, if I actually can say it's worth it buying them. I want to be honest on this point with you guys. If some of you guys are buying those, it would be nice if you put in the creator code Itsu, but to be like to be, to be completely honest, I don't know if it's worth it. I feel like those offers are completely misvalued due to all of the resources which are in there. Um, six time value for those little amount of magical items for a 55 euro pack. Ah, yikes. I don't know. Like... I don't know yet if, if I will buy anything of those. I still have to decide. I have four more days to decide if I will buy something of that. I feel like the offers are freaking disappointing, but I don't know. Like I, I can't do anything about it. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, I don't know if I would. I would definitely not buy the 10 euro pack. Um, I would consider buying the 55 euro pack maybe because of the book of heroes and the possibility of a new hero coming. But as well, I don't know, maybe just the 5 euro pack, because if the warden level are true, elixir will be a pain. Um, so book of everything is nice as well, because you can use it as a book of hero as well. So I don't know, maybe the 5 euro pack, but the 10 euro pack for sure not. Um, but yeah, that's just my po um, standpoint. If you guys would like to buy those offers, feel free to do so. And like I said, use the code Itsu in your shop. You can go in settings, more settings and scroll down there. Just type in credit code Itsu. But yeah, that's basically it for, uh, about this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope I did not anything wrong with the numbers. <laughs> and uh, well, let me know what you guys hope for for the next update. And well, maybe we will have a nice sneak peeks starting soon. Hopefully they're starting soon. Because like I said, the most likely date for Tunnel 13 or for the December update uh, will be um, basically the second week of December, like the 9th, like I said, 9th, 10th of December, something like this. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.